Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. We're still in Vault 22 and we've just, um, well, pretty much burned the entire bottom uh, level of this place. And hopefully destroyed all the spores that have been causing these mutations and wild growth. So right now, all that's left to do is um, find an access to that room that's blocked over there, where the HEPA filters are. So, we'll just go to the um, cave entrance and see if I've missed some kind of a, you know, some kind of an entrance over here. Maybe over here? It doesn't look like there's any other entrances there. But let's see. Let's see if we can find it anyway. This place does not look very burned. It would be a nice touch if we, you know, if we came back here and um, we would see everything burned to a crisp. Alright, so there is the cave entrance. Now this is the one way where we returned, I believe. This is blocked. No, no, this is the one where we uh, went in the first time. So, this is where we jumped down. Anything here at all? What was that? It's a weird crevice. It's a pretty cool uh, cave, though. I gotta be careful about any of those um, zombie things still. What's this? Was this another place where we jumped down? Oh, can I get up here? Come on. Well, this is not really where we're supposed to go. I'm pretty sure. Come on, get up! Nah, we're not gonna get up here. It's another... Isn't this where we go? Oh no, this is the blocked area. Okay. Yeah, this is a blocked area. Yeah, gotta be careful about those uh, green zombies because they don't show up on the radar. Ugh. 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 That looks interesting, but it doesn't lead anywhere. Yeah. Hmm. My hopes are waning. It doesn't seem to be... Well, there's another hole over there, but it doesn't lead anywhere. Neither does that. And that is where we found Keeley. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, somebody else has died there. I mean, somebody else. It's not like Keeley has died, but there you go. So this is the exit. That does not help us. So wait a second. We arrived. Not from there. What's this? Can we go up here? The answer is a resounding... Sort of. <laughs> Okay, we came from there. Never mind. So this is the only exit available. Hmm. And this does certainly not lead to the uh, oxygen room. I mean, area thing. Thingamajig. Oh yeah, this is just the other side of the blocked area. Hmm. How do we get there? So now we're on this side. Food production. Well, that sucks. Wait a second. Food production is here? What? No, it's not. Now, this is the computer area. Get back to the stairs. Actually, weren't the stairs locked here? Yes, they were. Wait a second. And they were blocked on the other side as well. I've forgotten about that. There we go. Wait a second. Maybe I'm onto something. Maybe this is a completely blocked off area that you can access from this side. That would be good. Oh. This hey, one huh? looks pretty tough. <laughs> That's right. Bad guys dealt with. Enjoy. 
Oh no, it's all blocked. Ooh, a prototype. Oh, I was all excited that we found the uh, the way. So what was this? That's a lot of DPS and very little damage. Meh. Hmm. So unfortunately, there's nothing here. Darn it. Let's go up a level. What about the fourth level, though? Why can't we access the fourth level? Stairs. Have I checked everything out of here? Oh, wait a second. That looks like a cave system. Uh, 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 uh. Um, how do we access these? That definitely looks like a cave system. Man, all of these bloody zombie things. Ugh. Oh, no, that's just this observation area, but... Can we access it, maybe? I do remember, I think that I've, I didn't really check this area completely. I was... I was a little bit too quick doing this. Wait a second, have we read this? Yields continue to improve splice. Yes, we have, I believe. The mood is unusually summer. Yes, we've... Uh, we've read this, we've been here. Spore carriers. Alright. So this is that. And there's the elevator. Wait a second, what's this? Oh, this is... Cave door access terminal, but I've unlocked it. Disengage lock, access granted. Yeah. Why, did, why didn't this work last time? Holy crap. Ready? Why... why... Why the hell do you have to run in front of me, Cass? That's so annoying. She's gonna die that way. Was that all? Alright, we found it. We found where we that have to go. <clears throat> Excellent. Let's see what's up here. I guess that goes up there to the uh, HEPA filters. Nice, so we found it. I think. I hope. I mean, it has to be. Man, this area is... Holy crap, where does all this lead? Sleeping done. Fighting now. Die! Caution. What else is here? Oh! A oh, tiny little- oh my god! There's so many of them! There's so many this tiny ones! Was that all? Oh, I almost feel bad for them. Damn. There's so many of them here. It was a nest or something. I feel bad now. <laughs> uh, that's... Wait a second. That's not where we came from. Where does that door lead? Possibly to that place that we need to go. Let's check the rest first, though. Okay, that's blocked off. And I am thirsty yet again. What's going on? The hydration level has decreased. This looks like almost it goes to the reactor. Pest control. Do you like me? Wait a second, this might lead to uh Uh How did I miss this before? Man, these uh these doors are very well camouflaged. I'm confused. There's another terminal here. Species 1. A distant relative of the more commonly known Venus flytrap. Species blah 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 seems to be performing well. The plants are a threat to creatures up to 5 meters their size. Uh, 5 times their size. Jeez, due to the violent nature of their closing maws. Those that aren't swallowed whole are often incapacitated by their initial bite. The plant's lack of mobility is offset by their ability to lure prey into reach by means of a nectar they secrete from their bodies. Mantis. Of all the species we brought with us, the common mantis exceeds the rest in terms of predation. The insects are voracious and their camouflage allows them to attack prey by surprise. Also, they complement our botanical specimens by hunting down these pests that avoid or escape uh, our other measures. 
Lastly, mantises will begin to cannibalize one another when other food is scarce, making their numbers self-regulating when prey is scarce. An entomopathogenic fungus, B. mordicana, has been developed to colonize the bodies of most common pests. Once it has fully colonized the host body, the host technically dies, but the body continues to move by means of the fungal colony within it. Ugh. In this manner, the fungus moves amongst um, more of its prey, occasionally spraying spores in a radius around the host body, infecting all who come near it. Its drawbacks include the time it takes to kill prey, 10 to 20 days, and its limited effectiveness when dealing with unsocial pests. What are the... Bleh. Brilliant, so that's what they were all infected with. I mean, we kind of knew already, but there you go. How did we not find this area before? There's the stairs. Huh. You know what? I never went up here. Because I thought it just simply led to the other level. Wow. Well, there you go. <laughs> Let's go back to the cave. Uh, which way haven't we gone yet? Upstairs, I think. Over there. Because we've, we've gone over here and it's blocked. Blah, blah. Cass. Getting into my line of fire and then it's bloody spooking me when I turn around. Jeez. What's wrong with you? What the hell is going on here? Really? These doors? Why? Did the vault people do this? Because, I mean, who the hell made this hole anyway? And this is it. Excellent. This is where the things are. Oh. Wonder glue knife. That's empty. There we go. Nice. And they don't weigh anything. Brilliant. So we got the cartridges. Nice. Excellent. Alright. Several HEPA cartridges. Alright, so now we can get out of here. Well, that was pretty good. I like this vault. It was just creepy enough and interesting enough, you know, for my taste. And those uh, green plant zombie things were kind of cool as well. I liked how they were uh, hiding in plain sight. That was pretty good. Well, it wasn't really plain sight, but you know what I mean. Alright, so let's get out of this uh, bloody vault. First level, entrance. Alright. Oh, there's a Nuka Cola. Main entrance. Yeah, look, there's the outside. Woohoo! We're getting out. Oh, that's quite pretty. How do. Oh. There. Alright. Wow, look at this place. It's pretty cool. What does this say? Stay out. The plants kill. <laughs> they even had a thing over here. Welcome to Vault 22. That's pretty cool. Alright, so now... Search the vaults in the region for a reverse pulse cleaner and a differential pressure controller. Jeez. So we need to go to Vault 3. We need to go to Vault 11. <clears throat> a lot of stuff. Okay. So what's over here? Ranger Station Foxtrot. Let's do that first. There. Because it's right there. Actually, hmm. I think we need to go down here and use this road. Yeah. I don't think we can just climb the mountains. Let's try anyway, but uh, <clears throat> I don't think we can really. So that's not gonna work. Maybe. Maybe up here? Looks kind of steep, though. Let's try. Uh, it's getting a little bit too steep. Come on. Ah, uh, no, that's got... No, no, no. That's going to be too steep to go up. Unfortunately, I think. Come on. No, come on. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Right there. Uh, never mind. Okay. So... Let's do... Find Rose of Sharon Cassidy. Can I follow you? Nope. 
Uh, for a few days, return to Festus with enough Sunset Sarsaparilla. You know what? Let's do that first. Let's see if we have enough Sunset Sarsaparilla caps. I want my reward. We probably don't have enough. I seriously doubt we do. Hey, Festus. Give me those uh, caps. Actually, I'm going to quick save just in case. Howdy, partner. Uh, deposit. Nice. You did it, partner. All in for you. Old Festus knew you could do it. I suppose you'll be wanting that prize now. Well then, hold on to your hat, cause it's a doozy. Not many people have heard the true story behind Sunset Sarsaparilla. Well, that's Let's just a story. Really? Long ago, people didn't have a heap of choices when it came to soft drinks. It was either water or Nuka Cola. Now, the threat of legal action forces me to say that Nuka Cola is a swell beverage, but sometimes people just wanted something different, you know? So one day, a man, a saloon owner in a small town, decided to make a new type of soft drink and asked his patrons what flavor they'd like it to be. After getting no help from them, a stranger at the end of the bar suggested the man make a sarsaparilla-flavored drink. The stranger said he would happily share his family's recipe for the drink on one condition. The condition being that the stranger would be allowed to sample a bottle whenever he liked to ensure the recipe was being followed to the letter. The man happily agreed, thinking the drink would make him rich, and the stranger promised to meet him by sundown the next day. The next morning, the sheriff stopped by and reported that the stranger's body was found on the side of the town road. He'd been killed by bandits. The man, cursing his luck, closed the saloon early that day just as the sun began to set. But after he'd locked the doors, he turned around to find an unfamiliar bottle on the bar with a note beneath it. The note was sealed with blue wax in the shape of a star. Opening it, the man found it contained a recipe for a sarsaparilla-flavored drink. Sampling the bottle's contents and finding it singularly delicious, the man gave silent thanks to his mysterious benefactor, wherever he was. Being an honorable man, the saloon owner paid for the stranger's funeral, thinking it was the least he could do to repay him. The saloon owner went on to become rich selling the new drink, and to this day, some bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla have a blue star under their caps. Some say the saloon owner ordered it done in honor of the stranger. Others say it's the stranger sampling the bottles like he promised. And that's the legend of the star. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope you continue enjoying Sunset Sarsaparilla. <laughs> Is this some kind of a joke? Um, what? Is that it? <laughs> what the hell? Where's the real prize? <laughs> the Sunset Sarsaparilla Company has received a number of complaints regarding the prize awarded for handing in Sunset Sarsaparilla stars. <laughs> Therefore, we have seen fit to provide another prize that we feel will placate the most discriminating customer. <laughs> Just head through the double doors and follow the hallway to your left to the very end. An attendant will be there to present your prize directly. Oh, great. We're at the Sunset Sarsaparilla Company would, once again, like to thank you for your patronage. Brilliant. So the double door is into the left. A valuable lesson. It's an actual quest. Let's see. Go to the Sunset Sarsaparilla Prize Vaults to collect your prize. I have a feeling that... I haven't been here yet? Um, he's still talking. I have a feeling that uh, I've um, pretty much ransacked this place, so how do I get there? 
How do I... It's pointing in two directions? What? Look at this place. It's completely... How do I get there? Maybe from the upper level. I have to eat something. Uh, iguana on a stick. Mmm. Yum, iguana. Anyway. <laughs> thank you very much for watching. And we'll uh, try to find the... Shut up! We'll f try to find the uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla fries next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>